What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I want to talk about the five tips that I'm going to give you that will guarantee that you have a good experience with solar power. If you follow these five things, you won't be taken advantage of and you'll have a successful system for many years to come. The first key to success is to start out small. If you guys have seen that show on Discovery Channel Mythbusters, which probably everybody has, you know that when they test a myth, they always start out small. They start small scale so that they can prove the larger concept. And the same thing happens here. Go out and purchase a small solar panel kit and play around with it. Those things that you learn from that kit and the mistakes that you make will pay for themselves tenfold when it comes time to scale up to a larger system. Number two is do it for more than one reason. If you have multiple reasons for going into solar, you're going to be much more motivated for success and much more likely to achieve your goals. There are several reasons why you might get into solar. You may want to go green and save the planet. You might want to save money on your electric bill, or you might just want to kick your electric company to the curb and get energy independent. The reason that this is important that you need to have multiple motivations is because by themselves, none of those is extremely compelling. If you're going into this as a long-term financial investment, you'd be better off going into the stock market, as many people have commented on my videos. If you're looking to save the planet, if you do your research, you'll find out that there's actually a lot of energy expended in manufacturing the solar panels, so you're really not saving a huge carbon footprint. But if you, multi if you combine multiple motivations together, now you have a compelling argument and you have more motivation to do this properly. Number three is a big one, and that is do your research. Research, research, research. I can't stress that enough. Before you're going to get very far talking to a solar panel installation company or a leasing company or a wholesaler or however you're going to approach this, you need to know the differences between types of solar panels. You need to know what kind of incentives are available to you. You need to know if the, the ITC tax credit is even going to help you on your taxes. Um, you need to know all of these kind of things before going to bat. Knowledge is power. There's so much misinformation out there about solar that you really need to do your own homework, form your own opinions, and cut through the BS before you ever even attempt to start calculating your ROI and planning this thing out. So that brings us to number four, which is calculate your ROI. And for those who don't know what that means, your return on your investment. It's important that you don't take someone else's word for it. Don't rely on other people's figures or estimates. Do your own math. You have all of the facts now with, after you did all your research. There's plenty of online calculators out there to help you if you're not very good at math, but do all of this ahead of time and know how long you're gonna be in your house and what your electric usage is and, and uh, all of those things and plug all that in and make sure that you're comfortable with that investment. And last but certainly not least, make sure that the place you're going to put these solar panels is adequate for solar. There are several things that you need to consider. Uh, most people are going to put the solar panels on their roof, so I'll just talk about your roof. But the first thing that you would look about is the roof area. Do you have enough real estate space on the roof to put 20 or 30 panels? Next would obviously be the orientation of your roof. That would include the slope of the roof, which needs to be roughly equal to the latitude of your, your location. Uh, it would also include the direction that the roof is facing. Another consideration is shading. Are your solar panels going to be partially blocked or shaded by trees or other telephone poles or whatever during part of the day? Next is what kind of shape is your roof in? Because solar is such a long-term investment, we're talking 25 years here, Chances are, especially if you live in a place that experiences hail or tornadoes or something, but chances are you're going to have to do maintenance or replace your roof within 25 years. So you need to think about that before you do solar. And finally, do you have permission to put solar panels on your roof? Yes, you own your house, but if you're in a homeowners association, they may have rules against it. Or you may have a local city ordinance that talks about how they can be installed or whatever. You need to find that out first. So in conclusion, if you follow those five keys to success, I guarantee you that you will not regret going solar. As always, thanks for watching, guys.